here with Coach Patrick Daberko after the Bulldogs win here today over the Hastings College Broncos. Wrap that around there for you. All right, Coach, 42-6 uh, to six win here at home. Offense, uh, get good scoring margin, victory margin here today. But what do we think of this one, obviously, uh, with this Bulldogs win here at home? We'll take it. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of the, the, the approach that we'll have. Uh, I think we can play a lot better. I think uh, we can play a lot cleaner. And so that's, we'll, we'll be looking to fix some things uh, over, the, over the bye week now. Um, we have some things we just got to get, like our ball security's got to get better. And, um, you know, we got to watch film and see, uh, see what, some of the, what, what some of the issues were. It was, I have a feeling I know what the issues are. You know, like ball security is ball security, and it doesn't matter how well you're blocking or, or doing anything else, but we got to catch the ball, we got to hold the ball, we got to take care of it. Yeah. And that, that's the number one thing. Five of those today, and, and I know you want to get that cleaned up going forward. Then you get three takeaways on defense, uh, though, though, at the same time, so, so we're able to get the football back. But um, just, you know, uh, thoughts on, on sort of how the defense played today. They were put in some tough spots at times with those turnovers, but I mean, there was one time they were set up at the five. Hastings was able to score that touchdown, but outside of that, the Broncos didn't get any uh, getting advantage off of your guys' mistakes there. The defense didn't let them do that. Yeah, uh, we have a, a saying, just put the ball down. We put it across the jerseys. Uh, Coach Osen had it put across the, the blue jerseys at practice, um, and that's got to be the mentality. It doesn't matter where it's at or how it got there. Put the ball down, and it doesn't get to go any further, and that's that's the mentality that we try to have as a defense. And so I thought uh, I thought they did a good job of responding to the challenges that um, that we put in front of them. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll certainly work to not, not put our defense in that many bad situations, but I was proud of how they responded. And uh, senior day here, uh, thoughts on how about how all that went there pregame? you got to give out 20, is there 29 tool belts out there yeah. to some of the seniors, and that's always a, a special moment, I'm sure. Yeah, the, uh, the senior day uh, tool belt ceremony is, is really special to me because, uh, you know, it's symbolic. We want our guys to be equipped to be servant leaders when they leave here. But it's also like we want them to go. Able-bodied young men should be a benefit to their neighbors, and so we want them to actually go use it, and um, and make sure that they're, they're they're being great neighbors and helping people uh, who are in need. So, um, and to have them customized and everything, I thought that was pretty cool. Nice. Um, and and uh, appreciate all the work that went into that. And um, senior day is always kind of a. Uh, a little bit of a bittersweet thing, and so uh, it was good to see guys like uh, Justin Ningen and Josh Palacios who yeah. have come in and just put in the work. Um, they haven't gotten all the playing time in the world, but uh, it was awesome to Get see them some have some catches there. today, and um, I was proud of them. you got to play a lot of guys, too. Even some younger guys, too, got to got to come in for some action. I mean, how beneficial is that when you can get these kind of, you know, margins up? You, you, your game's kind of over second half. You could get some more guys rotated in and give some maybe the starters some rest. I don't know if that's how you look at it, but, you know, getting some young guys to play, pretty positive, well, right? Yeah, I think – the amount of work that goes into a football season is is uh, is probably more than people understand, and so to be able to uh, reward guys with playing time is ultimately like what you want to do for yeah. everybody on the team. And uh, college rosters are big rosters, and so you got a lot of guys on the team, and so it's fun to get as many yeah. as we can. Any uh, update you want to share on injuries? Uh, I know there were a couple guys that got banged up there in, in that game. Any any understanding of that yet or no, nothing kind of off take the, it week day by yeah, day? Yeah, nothing, nothing off the cuff. I think that we have uh, – it's good that we have a bye week, so we'll be able to give some guys a little bit of time to heal up uh, before we go on the road and take on Midland. And that's in two weeks, Coach. Bye week coming up here and then one more game to go here in the regular season. Let's go get them uh, in, a, in a two weeks, Coach. Thanks for your time. All right, thank you. We'll take a break. We'll wrap all this up next here on Max Country.